write characteristics of parabola from graph. So the parabola is given to us. We need to write all the characteristics which we can from the given graph. Here are some of them. Parent function, second derivative, shape, open switch direction, domain range, vertex, axis of symmetry, zeros and equations. Now if you notice this graph, we are clearly able to pinpoint the x-intercepts. So best type of equation which we should write about this parabola is with reference to x-intercepts. Well, let's try to answer all the questions now as much as we can looking at the graph. Parent function. For every parabola, parent function is y equals to x square, right? Second difference. Second difference tells us about the value of a. Now, the step functions for the a is 1, 3, 5, 7. Now, if you see from here, if you move one step right, then how much do you go up? You go 1. If you move next step right, how much do you go up? 1, 2, 3. So the steps are 1, 3, 5, 7. Now, since the steps are same, a value for this function is 1. Now, a is equals to 1, so second difference will be how much? Second difference, which is I'm writing as delta 2, is 2 times a. So in this case, it will be 2. So that is how you can get second difference, right? Otherwise, you may have to write down the values of y and find first and second difference to get this answer. Shape. So shape is parabola. And it opens upwards. Domain for all parabolas is x belongs to real numbers and range is y belongs to real numbers but there is a restriction. From the vertex it is up. The vertex is at minus 9. So we say y is greater than or equal to minus 9. Position of vertex is right there. At minus 1 the value is minus 9. So we can write this as 1 minus 1 minus 9. Axis symmetry is the line which goes through the vertex. And this line equation is x equals to minus 1. Zeros. So we have two zeros right there. One is at minus 4. The other one is at 2. So zeros are at x equals to minus 4 and at 2. Equation. Now to write equation of this parabola, it is better to start with the intercept form. So we will work out the equation here and then put it right, right there. So y equals to a times, don't forget this factor of a, x minus 0, which is minus 4, becomes x plus 4 times x minus the other 0, which is 2. To find the value of a, we should actually take some point on the parabola. Let us say the point is at 0, minus 9. So if you plug in 0 here and minus 9 for y, you will get the value of a. We had assumed earlier that the value of a is 1. So it's a good time to check it, right? We could have straight away written 1 here, okay? So now, let's put x as 0. So if I put x as 0, y is minus 8. That is the y-intercept. So we are using y-intercept in this case. y-intercept is at 0 minus 8. So 8 minus is the value of y. And for 0, for x, 0 plus 4 is 4 times minus 2. That is, we get minus 8a. So therefore, we do get the same value of a as we assumed, right? So it was not, it was educated guess. So a is 1 and therefore, we get our equation. The equation for the given parabola is y equals to x plus 4 times x minus 2. Now, as an exercise, what you can do is find the equation of this parabola in vertex form and then convert it to standard form. So that will be a good exercise. And we'll soon get into converting equations from one form to another. Thank you and all the best.